So, and that is another reason why you don't want to let your trees really flower in the first or second year because and or you get fruit these ones are way too small anyways this guy got a branch knocked off of him earlier but you don't want to let these guys flower because even if it does have fruit and even if it could support two three fruit the pigs are gonna nail them and they're gonna break your tree in half and they're gonna break all the trees that have mangoes on them not when they're small when the mangoes are small they're good but as soon as they get half ripe size they'll break your trees in half so here is my mango orchard I'm getting ready to prune it these this area the trees are a little smaller not gonna need it really pruning more tipping but that's just this section and and this Took the most damage this year these all all these trees at the end were all big and beautiful and they all got ripped in half because they just had too much fruit on them and it was too much temptation for the pigs right so i'm gonna come in and i'm gonna these are not good trees because they're too early too small i'm gonna just knock down the canopy a little bit on some of these trees, I had missed prunings. And so the branches got too long. And you don't really want them to get too long, you see. This one was all right. But like this one, for example, like having this branch, look, one flush here, another flush here, another flush here, another flush here, without pruning, way too much. I mean, it's, it would have been all right to let it go two flushes to get a little bit, some length in between the branch, but I should have really pruned it right here. And then it would have been stronger. Now, if it gets fruit, it'll just bend all the way down. It'll just bend all the way down and either break the branch or the fruit will be on the ground pigs trying to climb up the tree so when you're pruning or establishing the orchard you really want to try and I'm just getting the rain is starting when you're establishing the orchard you don't want to miss flushes you want to be able to get in there I'm saving these ones because I want to graft off of this tree so I'm going to be coming in and taking off these for grafting material because they're getting ready to flush right now. So some of them, if you're leaving them for grafting, yeah, it's like, but I wouldn't want to leave it like this with these two nodes because then it would get too long and then the branches would bend so much easier once it starts fruiting. So as you go through your pruning, some trees like this one, which are smaller, we just require tipping. I'll go in and tip all of these off. This is a white peary. And white peary is so easy to graft that I often get 85% success. So I gotta watch out when I do peary or I'll end up with only white peary. But this one, white peary has a great shape for a mango tree. Lots of branches, full canopy. Always works into a great shape. But you gotta make sure you keep the pruning up. Alright, it's raining too much. So I'm gonna have to stop here.